Hi, viewers, welcome back to I Can't Think of Anything to Call This Episode. Greetings, viewers. This is the time. Now is the place. We have been doing this for now 19 episodes. I guess now is not the place, because we just left there. No one is home at the boat. <laughs> but it still turns to face you. <laughs> it's a sentient boat. It's like a TARDIS. It's like a... Um, a Ramba. Hmm. Do you watch Doctor Who, Jason? Uh, not... Not in a long time. I haven't seen pretty much everything new. And by that I mean in the last, like, five years. Oh, last five years have been pretty exciting. Not for me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, speaking of not exciting, mm -hmm. shopping. <laughs> that really wasn't shopping. It's more selling. Buying and trading. Commerce. Capitalism ho. Gotta keep the... Uh, the economy of Riverton. No. We're gonna bring Christo. Many demons. Uh. So, last episode, you found the thingy. Yes. And we are now using it, I guess. Well, <laughs> not right now, this very moment, but I suspect yeah. that's what this video is. So. Good old Christo decides first turn I'm gonna cast stop spell, and it actually worked on uh, two of the demons. Stop Not spell is actually a relatively useful spell, as far as spells go. Hmm. I can't be bothered to cast it, so I'm glad people are in my party who know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. I like that uh, the AI really picks up in the uh, SNES era. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not too bad here. There are just some what the hell are you doing? Stop that mm -hmm. moments. I remember in some of the later ones and possibly even in some of the remakes they got really good at using the right elements. Yeah. Oh, that thing is going to be here against fire than ice. Well, let's use the fire spells then. Mm -hmm. It's little things like that that are kind of nifty. I mean, it's so easy to program, but it's nice when you see it happen. Yeah. Actually, that was one thing I really liked about Persona 3, is that if you're fighting a creature that hasn't been analyzed yet, your guys will just start using their most powerful abilities, regardless of element. But once they find out that, you know, so-and-so is immune to that element... They don't use it anymore. Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah. The, um... Oh, which one? Ogre Battle. Ogre Battle has a smart AI for battle. Where your spellcasters will use... Wizards, mostly. Will use the most efficient spell for that target. Mm-hmm. Game goes on forever, though. Yeah. But it's fun. I don't know, I start. I, I mean, I was watching the series, I enjoyed the first game, because it was a really nice RPG. I enjoyed the second game, because it was very different. Mm -hmm. Then the other games just went on forever. <laughs> Initially, I really didn't care for the N64 uh, game. But, as I played through it, it, it grew on me. It's probably a lot better to play. It's just yeah. the battles are so slow. I mean, even you, how you had to cut so much just to fit it into your standard length. Mm -hmm. And that was done via the uh, virtual console, so no speed up for me. Yep. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where you're going either. You're. I mean, I I, I know where. I think I know where you're supposed to be going, but. You're just kind of hopping back and forth between this town and not this town. 
I mean, I'm assuming we're, you're going to the monster castle now. Well, we're we're looking for something that um, Breath of Fire actually ripped off from this game. But I don't remember if we've got what we need to. Which Breath of Fire? Ah, uh, the first one. That's the one I know the least. But That's the one the I know three. the most. Because I just finished playing through that one a couple of months back. Hmm. When's that going up on the Let's Play as well? I guess by the time this airs, it'll probably already be out. Um. Excuse me. It is late. It is later for you. It is late here. Yep. It's tomorrow for me. It's nearly tomorrow today. Um, there are a few games that need to go up before. I've recorded... Did I finish the first game? God, I don't even remember. <laughs> what have I let's played? Oh. Let's look at the... <laughs> the big book of let's plays. You know you've let's played too many games when you need a big book of let's plays. Actually, I have two big books of let's plays. Are they just like albums of uh, videos? Yeah, I have a 256 disc case full, and then I had to start on another one. Wow. And I only had to start on the second one because someone got this bright idea. I'm gonna do all the Final Fantasy and Dragon Warrior games. <laughs> and there went up like half of the book. Well, I'm sure that if anyone is actually watching this Let's Play, They'll be impressed when they realize how much you've got okay. at this moment. Let's see. That's up. That is up. Oh, I've done the first one. It is actually finished. Took me 29 episodes. Are you going to the whole series? Um, I think three, if I remember right. Three was the one that was requested. Probably. So I decided, what the hell, let's just do... One and two first, because I enjoyed two a lot, and one, you know, one could have been better, but it could have been a lot worse, so. I like two. Um, one I just didn't know very much about. I, I started it and never really got very far. Mm -hmm. uh, and then three I really enjoy. So I've never played three. Why don't you also just take that tower to cross the other tower? Okay, see that thing over there on the left? Oh god, I remember this. Yeah, that's what Dragon Warrior ripped off. You mean Breath of Fire? Yes, Breath of Fire, excuse me. You know who else ripped it off? Uh, no. Earthbound. Lufia? Earthbound? Um, kind of, yes, not so much. Dungeon Man? Right, but Dungeon Man... Is not nearly as irritating as this part. Well, Dungeon Man actually will will join you and follow you around. Yeah. For like is all more, of five minutes. Yeah, this is more like we break in and then it moves on its own with us inside of it. Mm. And it looks like I should be underwater. Well, I will say... As far as... Uh, this is concerned... This is a pretty massive thing to achieve back in the NES days. This is true. Oh my god, I entered this giant thing and then it moved. I mean, you know, even Final Fantasy IV did a giant moving thing. Mm -hmm. Totally just missed a treasure chest. That's right, go back and get it. It's a mimic. It's a medical herb. It's I, an antidote. I totally yeah. expect what happened was you're just you took a few steps. You're like, wait a second. Did I see a treasure chest back there? And then you're like, let's go back and check. And there was. That's my guess. And since you well, don't remember anymore, we're gonna go with that. Sounds good. <laughs> it's Keelian's brother. Whatever his name was. Loud. 
Lay Aonar. I guess. Stop. Or no, because the L and the R thing, we've got that screwed up. Oh, shush. Ray Aonal. Doesn't work like that. Ah, it's just a small metal. Who cares? The small metal can cares. I don't care. <laughs> he can come get these. He wants them so bad. Where where does a rhinoceros? Where does a bipedal rhinoceros go to buy pink armor? Wherever he wants. I guess. Yay! Actually, I know exactly where he buys pink armor. In the first kingdom, because look at Ragnar. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, but they weren't even nice to Healy. They weren't going to be nice to that guy. And we all know you can't hurt NPCs in this game. Yeah, but I mean, I'm sure if a giant bipedal rhinoceros with an axe walked over to your store and said, Give me some pink armor, they'd be like, Yes, sir, and would you like it gift wrapped? Maybe, maybe we're assuming things about the rhinoceros that we shouldn't. Maybe he was really, really nice about it. Maybe. I mean, he's at this point in the game, so he probably has a lot of money. Far more money than anything from that point in the game. <laughs> yeah, more money than Healy ever dreamed of having. Yep. I mean, Healy was in a dungeon full of things that gave, like, two gold tops. <laughs> and he was hiding in the corner the whole time. Yep. Even though he was kind of invincible. Yeah. Until he ran out of MP. It's a zoo bat. It's a jump bat. It's a goal bat. This is what a goal bat looks like when it closes its mouth. <laughs> Not threatening at all. <laughs> and why the long face? I see what you did there. What you don't see is that I actually am halfway sort of playing Minecraft while we're doing this. Nice to see that you, you enjoy this so much. Well, I just got thinking. Uh oh. As soon as I realized what we were gonna do, how boring this is. So, yeah, I'm just grinding arrows from skeletons. I remember this dungeon being pretty tough. Also, just because it's so freaking long. Yeah. And there's a really big, uh. What's it called? The uh, attack rate. Yeah. Battle rate. Insert word here, wait. Uh, hey, I know what we can talk about. Uh, Let's talk about Jade. Okay. We have a new official member, viewers. Yeah, but they'll all know that by the time this video comes out. Right, but they don't know it now. Well, they do know it now. Right. While they're listening to us. Yes. Let's see, we told them the same day they found out about it. Mm -hmm. So if they didn't know till now, it's their own fault. Sure. So, pretty excited. I've been watching Jade's stuff for a long time. I, w I have enjoyed his uh, Shadowrun Let's Play. He, um... At, at this point in time, has also done... Shadow Gate, Uninvited, and Deja Vu, Ooh. if I remember correctly. So Let's check those out. Some good taste in games. I concur. A lot of Mega Man ROM hacks. Which is nice. Now I won't be the only person on the site with Mega Man stuff. You'll just have the most Mega Man stuff. I'll have the most non weird Mega Man stuff. I don't and know. And then I'll have Mega Man eight, and then I'll have more Mega Man. Yeah, so you complain about a lot of the Mega Man stuff being weird. Well, Mega Man was okay up until 8, and then Mega Man X was okay up until 4. 
And then it just got weird. I don't know. I mean, the monsters in Mega Man 5 were pretty weird. Mega Man 5 is just not very good. 5 was one with, like, Tomahawk Man, right? That was 6. 6. 6 had really weird ones. Yeah, 5 had, um, Gravity Man and Star Man. Yeah, 5 wasn't too bad. Stone Man. I would say 5 was the last good Mega Man. Ooh, I don't know about that. I wouldn't take it that far. Less sensible Mega Man. Five. Oh god, generally... you just came out of its left eye. Oh, he saved me. Thanks, robot guy. Five is generally considered to be the worst of the first six. Except for, uh, according to your uh, 365 Days in NES, the people were saying, hey, I appreciate that it wasn't that hard. Yes, and that's generally why people don't like it too though it's like I veteran mega man it. players I, I appreciate that it wasn't that hard yeah veteran mega man players are like this is easy here game just gave me 29 one ups for not really doing anything thanks game i needed it i'm complete garbage when it comes to mega man there's many levers yep look we activated an x men that not many people remember Colossus. Colossus was, was one of my X-Men. favorite in the uh, arcade game. He was a cool dude. We should do the X Men arcade game on Mame as a co-op. That might be possible. There's um a really old top-down shooter NES X Men game that I loved as a kid. Never had any idea what the hell I was doing, but I might. I might try and dig up a ROM for that and play it. You had um, some of the lesser known X-Men like Colossus, uh, Iceman, is he even still an X-Man anymore? And uh, Nightcrawler. I always liked Nightcrawler. I like Nightcrawler as well. Where did you just warp to? I don't know. Oh, I do. I do know. I do know. I think it was um, to the, other side? the yeah, the other side of the Metal King's castle. It's like once you're in, once you've got in here the first time, you can warp back and not have to do the whole thing over again. Yeah, I think so. That was a weird use of edit because that would have actually been pretty useful information. Oh well. This video is 31 minutes. I think it's probably okay. It probably took me somewhere that isn't interesting in any way, shape, or form. Yeah, well, it would have been just nice for people who are like... Whoa, there's a lot of masks. It would have been nice for people who are playing along to know, oh yeah, that takes you to this useful place. Well, if they're playing along, they can do it. I guess. Or people who are like, hey, this game looks interesting, maybe I'll try it too. And now because I didn't show that one warp. <laughs> it's all over. Good thing Ragnar is using that ice plate. That was very helpful, considering that it just called for like three reinforcements. Boom. Question mark, exclamation point, question mark, the maskins. <laughs> Would that be horrifying if other. Oh, you're poisoned. And you don't maybe, seem to care. Maybe I'm hungry. Maybe it's destiny of an emperor. It was at this point which my recording <laughs> glitched. Oh yeah, I think I remember you telling me this. Yep. So now this game's gonna actually be a lot better? Oh yeah. You crook? Yeah, if we try and go into the castle with and talk to anybody without using the Staff of Transformation, we get into battles. Right. And I think there's random encounters too, isn't there? Yep. Uh, actually no, I don't think there are randoms. No? But then there's a certain point you can't actually progress without switching into a monster. Yes. Totally forgot that this happened. So this person is using the full house, complete strength <laughs> team. 
Elena Regner to Loon. Yep. You see, I'm not the only one who doesn't like Bray. Oh, no one likes Bray. Uh, this person is also apparently a Dragon Ball Z fan. Yeah. I was going to make that uh, remark as well. Hopefully their Bulma is more useful than the Bulma in the show. Kind of morbid how they're all talking about losing weight so they don't get eaten. Apparently, the monsters never heard of Hansel and Gretel. We're fattening them up. Hey, guy. You like a merchant. Surprising. Aha! So, we had to get the staff before we could come here. Right. You got the staff, though. Yeah, well, I don't know if this person does. No, they, they do. We just can't get back in that way. And the fights respawn. Yeah. Oh, I'm back from the dead now. Yay! You jailbreakers. I noticed that the uh, colors on this person's emulator are a little different than mine. Hmm. Because that's red armor. Yeah, a little more bold. Oh, Ragnar's still very purple. Yes. Necrodane. Da 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 Kind of make you wonder what they think these humans stole. Yeah. Or maybe, maybe they're just assuming we stole something. Stop stealing all our gold and killing us. Probably should reverse the order there. Maybe. I can't remember what happens in this area. Oh no, it's not been back. <laughs> you crook. Well, if you're gonna call us a crook, I guess we might as well, uh... Oh! Yeah. So make do the part. Keep in mind that did not happen to me. Yeah. Now the defeat spell is brutal. You just end the game right there. Yeah. No one likes defeat, except for people who are into that kind of thing. I see what you did there. Had to be done. I would have been angry with myself had I not done it. Mm. I'm sure you like beat. Yeah, he's pretty good. Um, saves you from falling into pits and stuff. <laughs> See, to, to tie it back around to the... Yep. I, I, yeah. I saw what you did there as well. But I don't know if anybody else did. No one watches my videos. It's true. I just have a million of them for my own amusement. <laughs> I've watched... And I have watched all of yours. Speaking of... That's not that much of a... Where's sheet. my uh, Settlers video for the week? I wanted to watch it. Uh, it's a very good question. Maybe you should check the forums where I said I posted it already. Yeah, you must have done it while I was watching Twin Peaks. That's exactly when I did it. Because I was like, well, Jason's not here. I might as well upload my video. <laughs> I'm sorry. I haven't seen it since I was like 12. And Bonnie had never seen it. Eels is shield. We should watch Twin Peaks. What's that? You never heard of Twin Peaks? Oh well, no! All right. Yeah, I've got about an hour and a half in. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> this has been on a long time. I got my girlfriend into Game of Thrones. She's been enjoying it quite a lot. Yeah. I have not watched any of that really yet because I um, don't want to. I read the books. No. Though, uh, Bonnie was watching, um, 
Walking Dead. Mm. And I've decided that's about the most retarded zombie show I've ever seen. Wow. And I've seen some pretty stupid zombie shows. That one's pretty... Yeah. I'm not impressed. It's pretty popular. <laughs> At one point, I'm sure heroin was pretty popular, too. Life Force Nuts in a Grave. Maybe if the person took the Life Force Nuts, they wouldn't be in a grave. That's what I'm thinking. They were not very responsible with their inventory. Oh god, they're all priests. <laughs> not helpful at all. No, wait. Now we're all kittens? That should work. <laughs> we're all townsmen. We're all... What's his name? Oh, that guy... Alright, that guy from uh, Chapter 4. Yeah. I'm a monster. Orin. Orin. I know they're busy traveling all over the world. We're a bunch of dinosaurs. Dino saucers. Who's that baby? That was just dinosaurs. Dino saucers was cooler. <laughs> Dinosaurs was dinosaurs plus transformers, basically. Stark, that guy from a bunch the of place. The, well, no, from he's he's like the reoccurring bad guy from these three games. Mm -hmm. or at least he's two the of one them. thing that really ties them all together. Mm -hmm. Everything else is just well, that in the there. celestial castle. Aw, you ruined it for me. Actually, I don't remember if Astrak was in 6 or not. I know he's in two, in 4 and 5. I remember so little about 5. Why did you change back into people while walking through that secret door? I don't know. Well, I guess I you, didn't, you didn't. I didn't do it. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. And for once, that, that statement actually does apply to this situation. Where are, why, oh, maybe it just ran out of time. It does that. Yeah. There's something weird about, like, the four monsters just walking in a row. Well, somebody had to. It'll be late for the meeting. Go to the meeting. A monster meeting. Did you sign Sheila's birthday card? <laughs> that sounded like foreshadowing. Sheila's birthday card? Flying with balloons. Ah. No such thing. Man, we're meant to fly. Kitties. They've been born with wings. Kitties. If man were meant to fly, he would invented a rock that he gets to put in a boat and make it float. <laughs> Say hello to everyone and take your seat. You can't start this super important ultra bad guy meeting until you've introduced yourself properly. Could it be that the hero we thought was dead is not, in fact, dead? I'm a skeleton. I must be. I'm undead. Microsara will arrive shortly. Something has happened. An attempt. This Turk is revived. It's most people will come up. We must go and bring us Stark back. Wait, was he actually there? I think. I didn't even see him. I was expecting to see him at the freaking throne. I was looking in the wrong spot. 
I, I don't know. Northwest of Killian Castle. You've been there. Viewers, if you need to, uh, you know, rewind, feel free. I think I'm gonna need to rewind, but I'm gonna wait till you've gone to the end, because that'll be confusing if I rewind and you don't. Yeah. Well, a little bit. It is! Still, kid is! Get him, kitty. Lena's wearing a pink leotard. They're Bye. evil kitties. Evil monster kitties. Now they're evil monster kitties. Just like the one in the next game. Oops, spoiler. Spoiler. You mean the one from uh, Dragon Quest Monsters? Yes. Oh, <laughs> there we go. You'd even fade back to, like, and from now on it'll be us. No, but from now on it will be us. Well, from now on it will be me. It'll be you. Is it not refreshing? Well, let me replay. Ah! Magma ah, and a skeleton skeleton. Did what you, are you doing here? Did you break it? I did not. See if I can find. Ah, uh, Fiddler's not letting me fast forward. Unfortunately, I have no control over that. Yeah. Oh. Well, now it's like a little. Oh, wait, I got it. Oh, there he is. He is on the throne. Yeah. Well, now we know. I guess because I was busy looking. He's also like wearing red. While standing on red tiles. That's what you get when you use the uh, Minecraft system. <laughs> or the Lamulana bat system. Yes. Speaking of, today is the day. Upload the final two videos of Lamulana. Ooh. Part of me wants to really see you fight... Uh, what's her face? Tiamat? Mm -hmm. Part of me wants to wait until I've had a chance to fight Tiamat. Just wait. Yeah, I would say wait. Try it yourself. Yeah. Um, and I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna drop this little bomb bomb on the uh, the viewers here. So I have just finished my playthrough, my like third playthrough of La Mulana. It's very exciting. And now you want to do it again? Um, actually, I'm about halfway through my Let's Play of the remake. How are you liking it? Um, I'm not. Really? <laughs> yeah, um... The, the game feel is so incredibly different. They, they made... They made the game less hard overall, but made it more hard in really annoying, inconvenient ways. Mm. Like money grinding, for example. And but, but, I sub mean, weapons. But at the same time, the fairies are... You, uh, you can get a money fairy in, in the remake. Right. If you know where to find the item you need to get the fairy. I guess. There's, it's not a ROM combination anymore. You have to find an item. Yeah, but I mean, but it's a, but they hint at where it is pretty significantly. Um, not anywhere I read. Well, no, but they said it was near, uh, like, like, the thing is, all of the, uh, all the rooms have names, and one of them, I think, hinted at it being near Isis, and that was, and they were saying, like, they needed Isis's pendant or something. Right. Here's, here's actually, why... Like, you need to actually look at the names of every room in the game while you're playing it, which is, it's, it's not necessarily a bad system. It's a bad system if you have played the original first. Okay, I'll give you that. Because they have... They've swapped treasure locations. They've gone... Just removed some puzzles and added others. Mm -hmm. They have moved important item locations. And they have added rooms. Hidden rooms. Did they add which, rooms? Yes, I've come across at least three so far. 
rooms that were not there in the original that you have to go to to get something to continue on. Interesting. Yeah. So, well, I'm, it's not bad. It's just... I don't know. You know. I, from what I've seen of it, and my now my own experiences with the original, I feel like it still did a very good job of keeping the spirit of the original. Like, you can't say you're playing a completely different game, I think, if you are if you play the remake. I think I could say that. I think you just like complaining about remakes. Well, here's here's why I think I can say that. Because the original was designed specifically to throwback to the old MSX 8-bit games. Mm-hmm. And it moves like that, it looks like that, it sounds like those, and it feels like those. The remake does absolutely none of that. It doesn't have the look, the feel, the sound, anything. I mean, it is... While it is still La Mulana, it's kind of like the difference between Castlevania 2 and the, the remake that Metroid Quest did. It's still Castlevania 2, but it doesn't feel anything like Castlevania 2. Hmm. So, it's kind of like if you if you wear Nikes for like a year and a half, and then you buy a new pair of Nikes, they're still Nikes, but they don't feel like Nikes. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? I guess. I don't know. I think it's still a pretty good-looking, good-sounding, and good, I guess, I, I, I want to say feeling game. Now, to, now you know, that that aside, I still say I think the original is a, be- is a superior game, and I, I actually... I'm saddened that they took out the M, like MSX uh, ROMs and all that stuff. Here's here's what I here's here's how I I look at it. The original is excellent, and I love it, and I love everything about it, and I will probably play it a hundred more times in my lifetime. The remake still very good. It's got its flaws, just like the original did. It's got things that make it fun, just like the original did. But since it's a remake, you can't not compare them. And when I compare them, the original wins sure. nine times out of ten. I'm, 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 I accept all of that. And if I looked at them individually, then I would say these are both two very good games. And I think, but I think if you are a new person being introduced to La Mulana right now, mm-hmm. even though the, the 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 remake has some very douchey puzzles in it, I think it is still a more, a better game to to start off with because it, it it did a much better job explaining what's going on, what you need to do, and just get you acquainted with the game. Yeah, I could see that, but then again, it's it's you know, do I want to play the nice shiny new one, or do I want to play the more old school looking one? I think. Either one is a good introduction to it. It just depends on what you're looking for. I think I'd want to play the original one with some, with some of the music from the nice shiny new one. Yeah, I could agree with that. Some of it is good. Some of the original I prefer, but some of the new stuff is pretty good. Mm. Um, I, I assume Tiamat doesn't look nearly as awesome in the original as she seems to look in the remake. Haven't seen her in the remake. I am avoiding all pictures that I can. It's probably for the best. I, was, I have I was, had to consult actually, the walkthrough. I was impressed, though, that the uh, Palenque uh, boss fight's pretty much identical between the two. See, See and I haven't made it that far yet, so. Hmm. How far have you made it in the, in the remake? The last boss I killed was Bahamut. Isn't Palenque before Bahamut? No. Oh, wait, sorry, no, that's Baphomet. Um, yes. yeah, no, okay, bah- yeah, well, Bahamut changed a lot. Yes. Vi didn't change that much, though. I haven't got to him yet. He's next. Mm. Alright, well, on that note, I should probably go to bed. Yes, bed sounds like a good idea. I will send you my recording. Alrighty. Have a good one, folks.
Thanks, viewers.